Today, I am fixing a way for us to uncover this and cover that tarp back up again in an easy way. We are out in the open. We don't have a garage, we don't have a shed, so we have to tarp this every day. And throwing a tarp over this is a lot of work without a system. So what I'm doing is I'm building a pivot system so where we can just use ropes to pull the tarp up and over and I'm putting in the anchor here on this side and on the other side so we can build a pivot. It's also going to be easier on our marriage too if we get this built. Okay, you want to help me on the other side? Come over here. Here buddy. Getting this thing tarped has not been easy. So when I say that this is easier on our marriage, I'm not joking. Okay, you want to shovel? Okay, we'll put it here. You see? Woo! Yay! Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Yeah! Boom! Good job, buddy. Good job. We have a good helper. Even when the job is done, he won't stop. We are without our truck today. A couple of days ago, I was on the way to the chiropractor and started to overheat. We kind of feel like our hands are tied a little bit because all our tools are in the back of the truck. We were able to grab a few so we're going to get done what we can today. The truck should be done this afternoon and so tomorrow we should get a lot more done. calling for severe weather here tomorrow. We do not take that lightly here in Alabama. So we're going to hurry and tarp this thing once again. Just yet another delay. We've been getting this system together to tarp it easier. That's taken a bit. And today we had to wait at home all day because our air conditioner needed to be replaced in our travel trailer. We're kind of at a place where we're having one delay after another. The truck camper and tarp made it through the storms and we were more than ready to get back to tearing off the siding. Oh, yeah. Did you see how nicely that just kind of draped over? Watch your eyes. There's not even insulation in most of this. You want to throw that away for me? Yeah, it's stuck, buddy. You want that? Can I get it for you? Here. Grandma, get it. Whoa, you see it? You can hold him. <laughs> what do you think, Annie girl? Come here. Come here. Why does Frosty have such a bad attitude, huh? When you're just so sweet. Yes, you are. Hopefully this is going to be covered enough for the storm that's coming through. Or the storms, rather. Yeah, we're going to find out. We might have to go under the belly with one, but... We'll, yeah, we'll I think so. Happens. As we were preparing to get the tarp off the truck camper this morning, we've decided that it's a good idea that I take a good look for snakes because this would be a really good hiding place. And because frogs like to hang out on the truck camper and on the tarp, of course, it's going to attract some of the snakes. Now we're taking off all these little things that are 
screwed into the aluminum before we can take the siding off. Today we're still deconstructing, seeing what kind of mess we're getting ourselves into. There's nails under there, just so you don't go through your, oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. I know. I see. Okay, I don't want you to impale yourself. Don't worry, that's going to happen. I wonder how many trips to urgent care we're going to have before <laughs> this is done. I bet we both end up with tetanus shots. Rabies, tetanus, <laughs> you know. I need to cut that off. There it is. If you can't remove it gracefully, remove it forcefully. And this is where tools come in handy. We haven't seen as much wildlife today on this side so far. A few spiders. I haven't seen any ants or cockroaches though. Well, the fact that they're coming out like this means that wood is pretty good back there. Episode 125, Barry continues to peel back the skin. Every now and then, my hair brushes up against something on here. And it's... <laughs> grossest feeling. I would be so nervous climbing that ladder. This thing just tips right over. Just okay, jump I'll backwards. Go you go up? No, just jump backwards if it starts to tip. Well, the camper's staying in place. That's a good sign. Oh no, that's not a good sign. Oh no. Screws up top just came right out. Real easy. You know what that means? Yep. Rough rock. Are you surprised? No. This day is kind of discouraging, I have to say, a little bit. It's a lot of fun though. <laughs> this is a skill my dad taught me. Destroying stuff? <laughs> That is plexiglass, so I'm not worried about that shattering. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Of course, just before I turned my camera on, a fence lizard scampered up inside of there. Tomorrow, we're going to bring sunscreen and a cooler full of water. That's why uh, women live longer than men. Yeah, but it would have taken me some time to lower it and raise back up again. Yeah. I know how you guys think. We still have a lot to remove on the outside of the camper, but we're happy we worked out the tarp system. An electrician is coming this week to install on-site electricity for our welder. When that happens, we can begin the rebuilding process.